After much discussion and dissent, Spain's animal welfare law gets the green light. The law is the first of its kind in Spain to guarantee the rights of animals. Under the new legislation, pet shops will become a thing of the past and dog owners will have to undergo training. At this dog shelter in southern Spain, staff look after greyhounds that have been abandoned. Often they're badly injured. For the people who work here, it is a labor of love. But the new law, they say, falls far short of guaranteeing full protections for all animals. Recently we were hit by a big setback. Suddenly there was an amendment where hunting animals, among other animals such as work animals, would not be covered by this law. It's a huge step backwards because this law has really been made for these types of animals, the ones that are not controlled at the health level. The bill's already exposed divisions between the countryside and the city. Spain's ruling socialists traditionally have had strong support in rural districts, but when they drafted the bill last year, it caused an outcry, angering many in those areas. Fearful of pushing voters towards right-wing parties, they submitted a last-minute amendment in December that excluded hunting dogs and other animals involved in traditional hunting activities. The people involved in those pursuits say hunting in Spain generates more than $5 billion a year in economic activity and that the law would still effectively legislate it out of existence. There's a series of points that go against our sport. For example, the obligation to sterilize or neuter animals. My dogs have been bred for 30 years, raised at their grandmother's and great-grandmother's house. They're dogs with an exceptional genealogy. Now, what are we supposed to do? Neuter them? And at the weekend, thousands marched in Madrid, calling for the law to be toughened up. I believe animals should not be exploited. Animals have to be free and happy, and greyhounds and all hunting animals have to be sleeping on a sofa. The law would increase fines for animal abuse to more than $200,000 and impose a possible two-year jail sentence for the most serious cases. And for those on opposing sides of the debate, it's further entrenched the divide between the two. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.